My name is Chad Williams, and today I'm going to show you how to make a professional effects plot with error bars. So let's start off by making some data. So plot underscore data equals data dot frame. And then we're going to put values equals. We're going to have four different distributions. Let's say we have two groups with two different conditions. So we're going to have our norm is going to be 10 people. And then we're going to say a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2. Then our norm is our second distribution, which we'll say is a mean of 15. And then our third distribution will be a mean of 12. And then finally, our fourth distribution will be a mean of, let's say, 6. So next, we need to define our groups. So we're going to put groups equals C. And we're going to just repeat the word first. 20 times, and it's 20 because each group has 10 people and they have two conditions, so 10 plus 10 equals 20. And we're going to do that again for the second, and we're going to repeat that 20 times. Then what we need as well is conditions. So it's going to be very similar to what we did up here, except we're going to change first to early, second to late, and we're going to put this as 10 and this is 10. So that's just early and late for group one. So let's put early and late for group two as well by just doubling this. And there we go. So if we run all of this, what we see is we have our values and then our group one has early and late conditions and group two has early and late conditions as well. Great. Now we need our packages. So we're gonna use ggplot or ggplot2, I should say. And then we need hmisc as well. So let's run those. And then we can set up our plot in the following way. So in ggplot, we need our aesthetics. x equals groups, y equals values. And then we're going to put our group equals conditions. And of course, you can change conditions in group if you'd like. And then we're going to say our data equals our plot underscore data frame. Now, if we run this, we just get an empty plot. So let's populate that. And we're going to use the hmisc package here. And we're going to use stat summary. And we're going to say function equals means. We just want the means. And then we want our geom to equal point. So if we run that, we're just going to get four points on there, which is great. Let's connect them with some lines. So I'm going to actually just copy paste this because that's easy enough and change point to line. If I do that, what we do is we get some lines in between them. But we don't really know which one's which for conditions, so let's add that. In the aesthetics up here, I'm going to put color equals conditions. So what it's going to do is it's going to change the color dependent on the condition. So if we run that, now all of a sudden we have colored lines. Then let's add those error bars. So stat underscore summary still. But we're going to put fun.data this time. We're going to say our mean with CL normal, then geom equals error bar. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the width ahead of time uh, to 0.2. But you can play around with that and see what that does. Just change the width horizontally of these error bars. And there we have our effects plot with error bars, but let's make it look a little bit cleaner by getting rid of that gray background. We could do that with theme underscore classic. And all together, this gives us a professional effects plot with error bars.